welcome team in this video we are going to see how to communicate danfoss new launch ic2 vfd in modscan application so you can see in the system we have downloaded modscan 64 i am just opening it now You can see the mother page. We have connected our IC to VFD with our system through Adam converter. You can see here VFD was communicated with this port, and then we are going to connect the VFD. so before connecting we need to program the vfd this is the parameter list you can see on the screen you can pass the screen and note down your own value at 10.1.1 you need to enter the modbus rtu protocol because you uh, you need to select the proper protocol for communication and also 10.1.2 you need to select the address and then 10.1.3 you need to select the baud rate and 10.1.4 you need to select the parity so now you can uh, we can see in the vfd how to program it basically you need to press home button and down arrow go to parameter section g10 10.1.1 10.1.1 which is 2 actually the number 2 represent modbus rtu communication protocol so you need to select 2 here and then 10.1.2 you need to select the address now here we are selecting the address 1 if you need to change the address you can enter the concern value and select okay button now i am fixing it as 1 and 10.1.3 is a baud rate for baud rate you can fix Number two for nine thousand six hundred. Number three for nineteen thousand two hundred. You can see here on the screen two for nine thousand six hundred and three for nineteen thousand two hundred. This is the standard communication protocol condition. And then ten point one point four is parity. You can select zero for even parity. here zero for even parity and one for odd parity one stop bit actually zero is for even parity one stop bit and two for no parity one stop bit and three for no parity two stop bits now we are going to select even parity one stop bit so i am selecting zero here press okay button the value get fixed so that's all the programming is now we are going to see how it was communicating with our system go to the main screen and ensure that it need to be in remote mode so i am selecting it was currently in local mode i am selecting remote mode so i need to press local remote button so now it was in remote mode you can see now we are going to see how it was communicating here in the system i am just opening the mod scan you need to connect our vf connect the vfd before connecting you need to reduce the length to 5 so yeah so we can see the clear values on the screen and you need to select folding register here and device id is 1 so i am going to connect it our port is com10 so i am just connecting it and then default uh, settings for baud rate and uh, word length and even this was already fixed in our system so i am entering the same values here so i am just pressing okay button you can see the drive is communicating now now i am entering the values to start for start address 2810 now we get to the slave response you can see the slave response is there 
So 2810 is for start command. So when I am entering the sub address for 2810, if it is the sub address value is 1148 for start command. 2810 is for start and stop command. In inside 2810 there are two sub address 1148 for start and then uh, 1084 is for stop. So now I am fixed value 1148 here. I am giving update. You can see drive is running now. Now I am uh, now I am going to stop the frequency. Uh, so like stop the drive by entering 1084 here this is a stop address you can see 1084 if I am entering update you can see the reflection the speed is get reduced this is how we can start and stop IC to VFD through mod scan now I am going to change the reference value 101 for that we need to ch uh, start the VFD so, uh, so I am giving 1148 on the screen here so if I giving update to started, you need to enter address 2811 here for feeding reference. So 2811 is a concern address for feeding the reference. In inside 2811 you can enter the integer values. So 0 is for 0 Hz and 16384. 16384 is for 50 Hz. Now it was running in 40 Hz. So now I'm going to enter the value 16384. Accelerating to 50 Hz. So 50 Hz is for 16384. So a little bit correction here. Uh, for 1 Hz, you need to enter 560. You can see abruptly the speed get drop down and it will run in 1 Hz. Oh,